Welcome back. In today's video, we will be completing three problems. These problems are from the basic concepts of electric circuit in a past video that will be linked in the top right of this video. Now we covered charge, current, power, energy, voltage. You can go and watch that and come back to this one if you'd like. So let's get started with this set of problems. So the first problem stated that charge entering a positive terminal of an element is Q. That Q is millicoulombs, while the voltage across that element plus to minus is positive. It's given in volts. A, find the power delivered to the element at 0 0.3 seconds. So we can go ahead and complete A. We know that the relationship between charge and current is given by differential of Q, differential of time. So the change in charge with a change in time. If we integrate that, we get that current I of T is equal to four comes out. So that'd be four times five is 20 pi comes out as well. And we get cosine four pi T. And that is in milliamperes. We can then go ahead and state that the power P of T is equal to V of T times I of T. But that is equal to 3 times 20, which is 60. And then cosine times cosine give us cosine squared 4 pi T. And that is in milliwatts. So that's the equation for power. If we go ahead and evaluate that at 0 0.3 seconds, we get that equal to one point, well, one, one, 123.372 milliwatt. So that's the, instantan the instantaneous power. So B, calculate the energy delivered to the element between zero and 0 0.6 second. So again, the relationship between power and work is equal to the following. So we need to find energy. So work, sometimes called energy. If we manipulate that, we get dW is equal to P of T dT. And by integration, we then get W is equal to, call it T1, T2, P of T, dT. So our power in this case is as follow, cosine square. We can use the half angle identity, which is cosine square. 2x is equal to 1 plus cosine 2 times x all over 2. Thus, we can then go ahead and write our equation. So that'd be w, work or energy. We can just replace that with e. We'll just keep the w for now. And that would be, so if we move that 60, outside, so that's 60, so we can move the 60 outside, so 60 pi, so here we missed the pi, so that should be 60 pi. So 60 pi, we can move the two right there, and then zero to 0 0.6 second, then we can go one plus cosine and we multiply what's in the parentheses by two. So that would be eight pi of t dt. We can then go ahead and integrate that, which would give us 30 pi. And that should be t plus one over eight pi sine of 8 pi t and 
that will be evaluated 0 0.6 We then arrive at, we can just call it E now, because energy of 58.75. And we know that our power is in milliwatt. So that means our energy will be in millijoules. So our energy. So, the energy delivered to the element between 0 and 0 0.6 seconds is 58.75 millijoules. So, we can then go ahead, start problem 2. Problem 2, so the voltage across a device and the current through the device are V and I. Find the total charge in the device at one seconds. One second, Q of zero should equal zero. Find the power consumed by the device at one second. So A, we then go ahead and use our relationship. So we know that Q of T is equal to I of T dT. And as always, when we integrate that, we get the following. So we can say that Q is equal to, pull the 10 out, and that should be 0 to 1 seconds, 1 plus e negative 2t, 1 plus e to the negative, to the power negative 2t, dt, that is equal to 10. When we integrate, 1 becomes t. This becomes minus e to the power of negative 2t all over 2. We evaluate that at following interval. We then go ahead and simplify that. So if we evaluate what's in the parentheses for 1 and then 0, this should simplify to 1 plus 1 half minus e to the negative 2t all over 2. So the total charge should equal to 14.32333. Or we could just say 3, 2 millicoulombs. So that is the total charge in the device at one second. We can go ahead and do B, which is find the power consumed by the device at one second. So we have the equation for I and we have the equation for V. So the equation for I and V, and we need to evaluate that at one second. So P of T is equal to V of T times I of T, which is equal to 20 sine for T. 20 sine 4 t times 10 times 1 plus e to the negative 2 t. And that is volt amperes. So that should be 200 sine 4 t times what's in the parentheses have 2t and that should be in watt because our power will in this case we have we have our current in milliamperes and our voltage so that should be 
Millie what? So we then go ahead, and if we evaluate that at one, we then get negative 171.845, or just 85, milliwatt. So that is the power consumed by the device at one second. However, though, I would give my answer in as positive because if something is consumed, that means it's absorbed, absorbed, and if it's absorbed, it should be positive. So we then go to problem three. Problem three, the current entering the positive terminal of a device is given and the voltage across the device is given. So we need to find the charge delivered to the device between T equals zero seconds and two seconds. Calculate the power absorbed, determining the energy absorbed in three seconds. So A, we then go ahead, just like we did earlier, we're going to integrate the current and this is between zero to two second, be six e to the negative two t dt, and that is given in milliampere. We integrate that, we get 2.945 millicule. So the charge delivered to the device between zero seconds and two seconds is 2.9 millicule. B, calculate the power absorbed. So for this, we see that our voltage is given here. However, though, it's 10 times the differential of the current. So we need to take the derivative of the current and multiply it by 10 to get the voltage. So let's do that. So differential of the current is equal to B two times six is 12. So that'd be negative 12 E to the power of negative two T. And the current is in milliamperes. So we're gonna keep that milliamperes. Now the voltage V of T is equal to 10 times that. So that should be negative 120 E to the power of negative two T and that should be in millivolt. So then we know that the power, P of T is equal to V of T times I of T. So that is equal to 120. So V times 120 times six. So that should be negative 720 E to the, so, multiply the exponents, we get, we add the exponent, we multiply the exponentials, we add the exponentials, that should be negative 4t. And that should be milli times milli, that should be micro. So that should be microwatts. So, and that's the power absorbed. They didn't ask what was the power absorbed at a specific time, so we're just going to leave the equation. For C, determining the energy absorbed in three seconds. So we know that the power P of T is equal to differential of W, which is work over there over the differential of time. So manipulate that, we get dW is equal to V of T times D of T. W is equal to, integrate that. I think we did that earlier. Yes, we did, which is right here. 
So we're going to use this equation, this one. So that's what that's the equation I was getting to. So I'll just finish that up. D of t, t1, t2. So w is equal to, you can bring the constant out, 720, integrate that from 0 to 0 to 3 seconds, e to the power of negative 4t dt, and that should be in micro, microjoules. So, negative 720 integrate the exponential, we then get negative e to the power of negative 4t all over 4. Evaluate that, 0 to 3 seconds. We can then simplify that, bring the 4 out, be negative e to the 12 minus 1, and that should equal to, we can then write W as e, because work is sometimes called energy, and that should be 179.999 microjoules. It's easier to punch in your calculator and get the values, but just wanted to run through the math a little bit. So that's it for today's 3D problem. And as I said, these problems are from the basic concepts of electric circuit. Earlier in the video, I linked that video when we went over the basic concepts, which we went over charge, current, voltage, power, and energy, sometimes called work. So I'll see you in the next one.